Hi guys, welcome to What Should Baz Do? Uh, my name's Baz and I'm the real life yes man behind whatshouldbazdo.com. On this website I allow people to tell me whereabouts to live in the world, what to try and achieve there and how to use my life to make a positive impact. Uh, I've had this website since 2013 but to this day I still get asked why? What am I trying to achieve with this site? And why do I do it? Uh, so in this short little video, I'm just going to explain to you the four main objectives of the What Should Baz Do project. Okay. Objective number one. The main objective of What Should Baz Do is to test the theory that anything is possible. I believe that anything is possible so long as you're willing to put in the required effort and make the necessary sacrifices along the way. Um, so I'm putting this theory to the test that anything is possible by attempting to create any life that people might suggest for me. So that includes living anywhere in the world, uh, achieving any goal or challenge that people set, and becoming whatever type of person that, um, that people decide that I should as well. The second objective of what should Baz do is to make a positive impact on the world. So this is why every big suggestion that people put into the website must include a major challenge that's in support of uh, either a charity or some really important cause. Objective number three. The third objective of What Should Baz Do is uh, to continue to be motivated to learn new things and to go and experience new stuff. I believe that life is all about being pushed outside of our comfort zone uh, to, to, learn our, to learn what our limits are and then push past them and to experience as much as we can on this planet. So, with this in mind, I'm, I'm hoping to lead by example. The fourth and last objective of What Should Baz Do is uh, to give me some wild story to write down when I'm grown up one day. Uh, I initially looked around and found that nobody had ever done this before. Nobody had actually ever given up their own free will to live life the way that other people see fit. So I think that it's going to end up in a pretty crazy adventure um, and possibly be worth writing a book about when I'm a big kid. But then I still get asked, why not just achieve my own hopes and dreams? Why do I let other people decide? So put simply, this is to eliminate bias. Um, basically that means I let other people decide where I live and what I try and achieve to better test the theory that anything is possible. Otherwise, I might just choose things that are easy to me or that I've done before, um, and that's not really testing the theory. Plus, why not do both? So, uh, when I started this project, around about that time, I wrote this little poem uh, that describes what it is that I want to do. And here it is. It goes, There is nothing that I'd rather be doing, and nowhere I'd prefer to be, than doing something that I've never done in a place I haven't yet been. And I haven't been down there yet. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you think the What Should Baz Do project is a pretty cool idea and you want to um, follow along or support the project some way, there are a few different ways you can get involved. First and foremost, click that subscribe button down there, then share this with your friends. Um, the more people in, the better diversity of ideas that come through and the better the better diversity of challenges as well. If you've got any questions, throw them down in the comments. Always, or I'll read everything and I'll respond to everything as well. If you want to follow along, see uh, how the progress is going along with challenges and the lives I'm trying to lead, slip over to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Or if you want to support me by buying Baz a beer, you can click on the schooner right here uh, and that'll take you to a little donation page. If anybody buys the boat, you're a bloody legend. <laughs> Thanks again. Baz out.